Okay, so now that you know how to add polynomials, we're going to subtract polynomials. It's basically the same thing, except you remember when adding, I told you that distributing a plus sign doesn't matter, doesn't change anything. Pl positive times positive, still positive. Positive times negative, still negative. The difference with subtracting is distributing a subtract sign does change things. A negative or minus times a positive becomes minus or becomes negative. A minus times a minus becomes positive. So with subtracting with subtracting polynomials, the big thing we have to remember is to first distribute the minus sign. So let's look at these um, three examples. So example one, I look at my first polynomial, 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6. I start to wonder, why is it in parentheses? Is there something to distribute? Are there like terms? I realize that the answer to both of those is no. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop those parentheses, giving me 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6. Now for my second set, I'm going to distribute the minus sign to every single term. So minus times positive 5x cubed is a minus 5x cubed. A minus times positive 2x is a minus 2x. A minus times a minus 2 is a plus 2. Now from here, same thing as I did with adding. I'm just going to combine my like terms. I'm going to be sure my answer is in standard form. Positive 2x cubed and negative 5x cubed is a negative 3x cubed. Positive 4x squared and... I don't have any other x squared, so I'm just going to drop that down, positive 4x squared. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down my negative 2x because I want to be in standard form. And then I'm going to go ahead and say minus 6 and positive 2 is minus 4. And there's my final answer. And notice that it is in standard form. Um, if you were to combine the minus 6 and the plus 2 first and then drop down your minus 2x, notice you'd have to rewrite it one time to switch those two around. Um, but mine is in standard form, so that is my best final answer. Doing the same thing for example two. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see are there any like terms? Is there a purpose for those first set of parentheses? I see no, there's not. So I'm going to drop my first parentheses. And before I drop my second set of parentheses, I'm going to distribute my minus sign to every single term. Minus x squared minus 4x plus 3. Combining like terms, 3x squared and minus x squared is 2x squared. Negative 5x and negative 4x is negative 9x. And then dropping the plus 3 down. I'm in standard form since my exponents are descending. And there's nothing else I can do, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Final example. Example 3, I notice I have quite a bit more going on on this one. That's okay. I'll just take it one piece at a time. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my first set of parentheses. I notice there's no like terms inside and there's nothing to distribute in the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop minus 4x squared minus 5x plus 6 down. My second set of parentheses, I have no like terms, but I have something in front. I have a minus 2 in front. So I'm not only going to distribute the 2, I'm not only going to distribute the minus, I'm actually going to distribute the full minus 2 since that full quantity is in front. So, distributing it in, I get minus 6x and plus 12x squared. And then finally looking at my last set. Again, it's plus, but because of the minus 4, I have to distribute a, um, a, positive, uh, a plus negative 4 or a negative 4, however you want to think of it. So doing that gives me a plus negative 12x squared and positive or plus negative 4 times negative 8 is a positive 32. If you just right here said a minus, I probably in my own work wouldn't have carried the plus through and I just would have said a minus because um, plus and negative, remember, is the same thing as subtract. Either way, it doesn't matter. From here, I'm going to go ahead and combine my like terms. I have a minus 4x squared. I have a plus but a negative 12x squared. Oh, and I have also a uh, positive 12x squared here. So positive 12x squared and negative 12x squared are going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to be left with just that negative 4x squared from the front. Um, I have a minus 5x, a minus 6x, and that's it for my x terms. So minus 5 and minus 6 is minus 11x. And then I have a positive 6 and a positive 32 giving me a positive 38.
And even though this was a little bit longer, had a little bit more going on, I was still able to successfully simplify my expression by adding and or subtracting my polynomials. Big thing is with subtracting, do not forget to distribute the minus sign first. 